Hello everybody out there in the bookverse, it's Stephanie and today I am back with a video about my anticipated releases for the second quarter of 2020. So this is going to be from April to June, so April, May, and June of 2020. I picked five anticipated releases that I am really looking forward to and that are hopefully going to make it on my TBR fairly soon after they're released, but you know. We'll see because it's me and I change my TBR all the time. It's a problem. <laughs> If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you'd like to see more from me, definitely hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon so you'll be alerted when I post new content. But let's get into these books because I think I've picked some really good ones. I'm feeling good about them. I'm sure you'll have heard of some of them and hopefully some of them will be new to you. So hopefully we have a pretty good mix in there. The first book is the only one that I actually have for the month of April and it is going to be released or is released today. I'm filming this on April 7th and this book is supposed to be released on April 7th and that is Sin Eater by Megan Campisi. Now I've seen different places that some it says it was released on March 31st, some say it's going to be released today on April 7th. I really don't know which one it is but either way it's a new release. It's coming out right around this time. This is about a young girl who is an orphan and is caught stealing bread and so she is sentenced to become what they call a sin eater. So people can essentially have her eat food that is supposed to represent their sins and she gets kind of involved in the palace intrigue. This is in historical England and a mystery happens. I think there might be a murder or something. I'm really not positive, but I am actually really excited for this book. I enjoy historical fiction and I especially like it when it has a little bit of a dark undertone to it, which I'm thinking this book might. Now I'm not positive if this has any fantasy elements in it or not, but I think it sounds really fascinating and I hopefully am going to be getting to it soon. I think it'd be a really interesting read. The next book on this list is going to be released on May 12th and it is called Girl Serpent Thorn by Melissa Bashardoust. I believe is how you say that last name. <laughs> this is about a princess who is cursed so that her touch is poisonous so anything that she touches is poisoned and obviously she is not such a fan of this curse and she is thinking about maybe going to a demon to try to get it removed from her and somehow she does something that has a lot terrible consequences and can't be undone. I'm thinking she accidentally kills someone. It's kind of what it sounds like. And so she, yeah, it's about her trying to figure out this curse. I'm guessing there's going to be a romance in there because this sounds like one of those YA romancy type books. I believe this is in the YA genre, but I think it would be an interesting read. I don't know how original it is. It sounds kind of like a little bit of an X-Men thing going on there, but I think it would be kind of cool to read and it might be a nice cute YA to break things up a little bit. The next book on this list is the one that I am probably the most excited about, honestly, and that is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. It comes out on May 19th and this is the prequel novel to the Hunger Games trilogy. I absolutely love The Hunger Games. I think it is an amazing trilogy. It is so much fun. I really want to reread it right before The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes comes out so that I can be fresh, have it in my mind. The only thing I really know about this book is that it is during, I, oh gosh, I think it's the 10th Hunger Games and it follows President Snow when he is younger. I really don't want to know any more than that. I don't feel like this is a book I want to go into knowing anything because I feel like there could be a lot of spoilers and I just don't want that. I am really excited for this book and hopefully I'll be able to do a vlog reading it because this is one of my most anticipated releases of the year. The next book on my list comes out June 11th and that is The Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakraborty. Ooh, I'm really struggling with names on this one. This is actually the third book in a trilogy. The first book, I think, oh, I haven't actually read the trilogy. I think it is City of Brass, Kingdom of Copper, and Empire of Gold. I think are the books in it. I haven't read it yet and I am hoping to be able to just read the books right before the last one comes out because I like when they're fresh in my mind, especially these high fantasy books that have these very complex worlds. And it's nice for me to be able to read them through without waiting 
It's kind of my favorite way to do it, but all I knew about this is it's kind of an Egyptian, maybe Persian, I'm not sure which one, uh, inspired fantasy. There's a genie in it or a djinn, and there is a girl who is the main character. Really, that's all I know. I don't want to know more. I would rather go into it knowing nothing than knowing a lot. So that is what I am going into with these books. But this is the third book in this trilogy. I hear it is absolutely amazing. It has an amazing world and it's so well crafted. They are pretty thick books. They're fairly chunky. So know that going into it. The, next, the last book on this list is Sisters of Sword and Song by Rebecca Ross. This comes out on June 23rd, so towards the end of this quarter. This is the same author who wrote the Queen's Rising duology, which I haven't read, but I've heard good things about, and so I think that this should be a good novel. So one thing that I'm really excited about this book is that it is a YA fantasy standalone, which you actually do not get very much of. Uh, this book follows two sisters who are extremely close, apparently has a really good sister bond in it. One of them served in the army and then she ends up leaving and is charged with murder, is not sentenced to death in the trial, and so the younger sister uh, agrees to take part of her punishment so they can kind of split the punishment. And she ends up finding some things out during this punishment and she is realizing that there's a little bit more going on than she was aware of. I just actually am mostly excited that it's a standalone. I need some standalone fantasies to throw into the bunch because I absolutely love fantasy, but for the most part they come in bunches and they're usually pretty chunky. So I think this sounds great. I love books that have a really good sister bond in them. I think that's something that is well done in a lot of books, but it's something that I am always going to love. I think that is the family bonds are things that are really, the cars are so loud outside right now. And they're really something that I enjoy in books as long as they are well done and believable. And I've heard good things about this. So those are my five books that I am looking forward to in this coming quarter. If you have any that you're looking forward to, definitely let me know down in the comments. I love to get book recommendations for new releases. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.